Hosea chapter 1 verse 1. The word of the Lord came to Hosea, the son of Bereri, in the days of Uzziah, Joseph, Ahaz, and Hezekiah, kings of Judah, in the days of Jeroboam, the son of Jehoash, the king of Israel. Hello, my name is Hosea. I was a prophet of the Lord. I preached in the north to Israel. You might have heard of some others who preached to Israel at the same time that I did. The same time that I did. Guys like Amos, guys like Jonah, and sometimes Michael would preach. The South also had their prophets. They were also preaching in the South. Have you heard of Isaiah? I remember the call like it was yesterday. Something I could not believe God asked me to do. Or not asking, something God was telling me. God told me, Hosea, I want you to take a uh, prostitute as a wife because Israel is a whore to all kinds of idols. I want you to take a prostitute as your wife. And he went on and he said, I don't want you to just grab any prostitute. I don't want you to get the high profile. I want you to get the cheapest and the dirtiest prostitute. Because Israel is a, is a prostitute to all kinds of idols. She is indiscriminate of who she gives herself to. She, she will worship any and all idols. She does not care. I want you to get the cheapest. There was a conflict in my soul. I, he told me that. I was like, Lord, why? Why? Have I done anything wrong? He said, no. He, you are to, to be a representation of my relationship with Israel. I could not believe he was asking me to do this. I could not believe that God would ask me. This is in conflict with everything I knew. Every thing I knew about God's law, it called us to be holy, but he was telling me to join myself to someone who was not holy. Maybe that's the point. We are an unholy people. Even the slightest sin makes us a prostitute to sin. Maybe it's just one holy. It is not just stealing, but also puffing. It's not just adultery, but it's lust. Any sin makes us unholy. And maybe that's the point. I still felt it wasn't fair. I felt it wasn't fair. I contemplated. I walked around with this heavy weight. This weight. And man, hidden people could see what I was going through. Because it, it, it's obvious that what I felt on the inside, they didn't see it on the outside. Except at all times. She didn't care. Just the same as Israel. I thank God. Please. I thank him. Please, Lord. Not me. I said, have I done anything wrong? I'm like, no, you haven't. You've been a faithful prophet. I said, well, why don't you pick Jonah? Because you know Jonah, 
jump. You come jumping to go to them. It ain't about it anyway. He told me, this is for you. This is for you. Every day I pleaded with him. Every day I pleaded with him. Is you got to be the strength and the love for something that is unfolding. So I follow her around each day. I would love her more, but it just didn't set, there was this defilement in me that, and it just didn't feel right. It didn't feel right that I should love someone as unholy and normal. And then finally, finally when we got me and Mary, I was a laughing stock of all of Israel. We would walk down the street and they would say, look at this movie prophet saying God told him to marry daughter, a prostitute, a whore. God didn't tell him that his no own lust did. He said that was an image between us and God? How dare he? Who does he think he is? Who does Hosea think he is? They would say things like this. They would say, clean, they would say things like, clean up your own house. Worry about your own house before you start talking to us about our sins. Have you had everyone around you just snicker at you because of what God has told you? Have you had people laugh at you for what God has told you? If you, if you felt like that, you know what that is, then you know how I, how, how I felt. They all laughed at us. They all laughed at me. And I began to go over and we started we started a family. I had my, we had our first son. So I knew what every faithful Israelite should do. I sought the Lord for a name. The Lord, and I asked the Lord, what should I name him? And the Lord told me, call him Yisrael. Because I will punish Israel for her sins, for her sins that judge Israel. You gotta understand. In our culture, in our our name, your name means who you are. My first one, now this is my firstborn son, and he will forever be a reminder of the sins that judge Israel and the punishment. God is going to give a part. That is what that have no idea how hard it was to name my boy and every day he would play I would talk. Israel come here and in the back of my mind he was the sign of the loving promise. Now God told Jehu to go and kill Jezebel and Ahab, and he did just that. But with the but with the viciousness in which he did, completely negated, completely negated any blessing that he he would have gotten. Instead of blessing, he got the correct option. He got judgment. And it can even go so far, yes, he did. But when he didn't do much different than I had, 
we got to be careful that we not only follow God, but we ask Him, how does He want it done? Do you, do you, is it possible to follow God, but to not do it in the way that God is asking? But not do it in the way that God is Then we have another trial. So I did what I did with Israel. I said, Lord, what do you want me to name her? Call her Lo Rehama. Lo Rehama, because I would not have mercy on Israel. I would not forgive them, but when I was mercy on Judah and the South, my. This wasn't fair. I felt this wasn't fair. I like. Both of my kids now represent God's judgment upon God's judgment upon Israel. Both of my children. My, my first one son, Israel, and now my daughter, Lo Rehama. Then we had another boy, and I thought, and, and, I, and I thought maybe, maybe this one would be different. No, it was no different at all. So when I saw him, I asked, and then I said, Lord, what do you want me to name him? And he said, call him Lo Ami. Because Israel is not my people and I will not be their God. Not only for me, my wife, our whole family was a representation of Israel's relationship with God. This was a burden I felt was too much to bear. A burden so big. I said, This isn't fair. I was like, Lord, this isn't fair. I shouldn't have to carry this burden. I shouldn't have to carry this burden, Lord. This isn't fair. This isn't fair. Have you ever felt that the burden of God gave you isn't fair? It isn't fair. That's how I felt. But we were to be a representation because of the adulteries of Israel. They were vast, they were great, they were heinous. They burned offerings to Baal. They adorned themselves with rings and jurors as they were giving their offerings to Baal. They inquired, they hired a craftsman to make an idol and inquired that idol. They came up My heart 
It hurts me so much. I don't want to come with my wrath, but I must. I must come with my wrath. She does not listen. I pleaded with Israel, but she did not listen. As a result, God came and judged Israel. I plead to you, don't suffer the same thing as Israel. Turn from your wicked way. Turn to the one who showed his love for you to enrich your life to Christ. He came, lived the perfect life so you could experience eternal life. He was beat for you. He was, they put a crown on the doors for you. They whipped him for you. They put nails in his hands for you. They put nails in his feet for you. They hung him on that cross. You were, he was hung for you. He took all of God's wrath for you. God loves you so much. You need to give him your all. You need to give him. Don't suffer the same thing as you do. Turn from your wicked ways. The love, the, the love of God is free. We don't deserve it, but He gives it freely through Jesus Christ. And by mere sin, Lord, I know I'm a sinner, but for me, come to me. You will not experience God's wrath. You will not spend an eternity in hell. And for the believer who is wayward, who is backslidden, just turn back. Just, just give the Lord to me. Let me leave you with the Lord's benediction. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face. His face to shine upon you and gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance and give you peace. And in that state, hey, oh, my, hey, the deep that eat that water. Hey, oh, my, I got this plant that sat to roast for sorority. He hanged up the deep, he sat in the glory of Hey, oh, my, I'll say sorority to roast for Ipanga in the May you go with the Lord's benediction.